What kind of things are you afraid of? That's what I want to talk about today. Hey everyone, my name is Scott and welcome to my channel where we talk about issues of faith in the Bible and connect them to everyday life. Now, right now, my church, Alpine Church, we're reading through the book of Proverbs in 31 days. And if you want to join us, you can find the link to that in the description below the video. And you can join us and read through the book of Proverbs in 31 days. It'll change your life. But there's something that if you're reading through the book of Proverbs, you probably notice that causes a lot of confusion. And you find it in Proverbs chapter 1. Here it is. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. What I'm really concerned with in this video is that phrase, the fear of the Lord. What does that mean? You find it all over the book of Proverbs. What does it mean to fear the Lord? Now, I know a lot of people grew up afraid of God. Maybe you had an image of God as some mean or angry parent, or he's just like some angry dude up in heaven with a lightning bolt, and as soon as you mess up, he's going to zap you from heaven. Uh, but the Bible says that's not what God is like. And so let's talk about what is the fear of the Lord. Well, there's something you need to understand. You don't need to be afraid of God. Maybe you are kind of afraid of God, but the Bible says that if you put your faith in Jesus Christ, that you shouldn't be afraid of him. And here's what it says. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. I love that phrase. There's no fear in love, right? If you really love someone and if someone really loves you, there's no fear in that relationship. The Bible says that's how it is with God. Perfect love casts out fear. Because we've put our faith in Jesus for the forgiveness of our sins, we don't need to be afraid of God. That's not what God wants for us. He wants us to have a loving relationship. But that doesn't really explain the book of Proverbs because the Bible still says fear the Lord. It talks about the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, is the beginning of knowledge, and the beginning of understanding. So what is the fear of the Lord? Very simply, the fear of the Lord is a reverent awe of God. The Bible says that even though we can be intimate with God, even though God wants to be our friend, the Bible still says we need to be reverent of him. We need to be in awe of him because God is awesome. You know, we say a lot of things in this world are awesome. I live out by the mountains and I always think of the mountains as awesome. When I grew up in California, I thought of the oceans as awesome. But really, there's only one who's awesome and that's God. And the Bible says that we should have an, a reverent awe for God. And that's what the fear of the Lord is. You know, that's how you approach God in worship. You approach him in worship knowing that he's so great. We you think about his power and his holiness and what he can do, it should bring a fear in your heart. But it's not like afraid fear. It's this reverence, this awe. You are in front of someone who is incredibly powerful and holy, and that's God himself. And so that's why it says in the book of Proverbs, throughout the book of Pro Proverbs, how important it is to fear the Lord. It doesn't mean you're afraid of him. It means that even though we have this wonderful, loving relationship with God, we recognize who he is and we worship him for it. Thanks so much for checking out my channel today. We've got a lot of other videos on a lot of topics from the Bible, a lot of topics on faith, a lot of topics if you have questions about believing in God and why you should believe in God. So you'll want to check those out. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please put, put those below. And if you're going to read through the book of Proverbs, let me know. And I'd love to follow up with you about that. So thanks again for checking us out.